This is what you've been waiting for. So I woke up this morning with the desire to lower my life expectancy dramatically. Oh. After my usual morning routine of 800 coffees and a good solid hour of crying into my pillow, I decided the best way to do that was to overheat my brain to the point where stuff don't make sense anymore. And to do that, I'm going to head into the world of sim racing where 90% of my life stress exists. If you've been watching the channel recently, you'll know that I came across a mod for the Ferrari F2000 and four car, which if you don't know, is the F1 car from a 2004 season. Oh. The one that the Michael TM took his seventh world championship in. And spoiler alert, it is feckin' quick. This mod bolts modern day Pirelli slick tires to this already ludicrously quick carbon fiber canoe, which makes it quick enough to, well, in my hands anyway, beat the Spa lat record by quite some way and beat the TT Isle of Man record by about four minutes. And of course, in the comments of both those videos that I did previously, people have said, we were about the Nord Cypher. And I'm nothing if not a people pleaser. Please, for the love of God, like me. So I've cleared out my afternoon with the express goal of trying to get this absolutely mad 1,000 horsepower plus V10 F1 car Pirelli slick tyres around one of the most challenging circuits. <laughs> so I'm going to need a little bit of practice, I think, because this car is mind-bendingly fast. So I've got my professional race driver socks. <sighs> My body can't do that anymore. And before I try doing a proper serious lap, let's just try and uh, sort of do one at half speed. Let's go. Nice trash control moment. So yeah, obviously this car's pretty feckin' fast. I don't know what sort of lap time to expect from this thing by the time we get it all done and dusted and actually get a lap time in. But if it's not under five minutes, I will be pretty surprised. Oh, it's bumpy. That's 20 mile an hour there, by the way. So already you can see the main problem for us are going to be those big old bumps. This is an F1 car. It's pretty much about as low as the ground as can be. So any curves is a good way just to launch yourself into the stratosphere. It just seems effortless with this car around here though. Oh my God, how the hell am I going to keep up with this? So bear in mind right now, I'm running the medium tires just to get a feel for the thing. They're running, you know, a fair chunk of fuel. Again, just to get the feel. We're not at the uh, the full hot lap spec yet, and already I can feel my mind starting to melt slightly. This explains all those various low IQ takes I have. I'm going to try not to cough too much during this. Man still ill. This is how you get better, by going to the Nord Cypher. Hey, friend. Oh my god, okay, so actually, even with these slick tyres, I'm finding that if I'm a bit too harsh on turning, the rear is coming around a bit. That might be solved with a softer tyre. We'll find out. But right now, you're seeing just how much commitment you can take. Too much commitment. Too much commitment. Married with kids commitment. Oh my god. How the hell is my brain going to keep up with this? And a third gear. Nice out of there. On the kerb. Ruined my life and existence. Good. Car's only a little bit damaged. That's fine. Probably not going to affect me at all. This first half of the course, in my opinion, is actually relatively easy compared to the second half. The second half has like one line through. And at this speed, if you make a mistake again, you end up on auto addiction which is not where I want to go. Can I go through the carousel in this? Will it do it? I think it will actually be quicker to, to take the top line there. Oh God, here we go. It is testicle time. Please don't. No. Oh, sh ah! Yeah, meant to do that. So even this car has got a, a uh, limit to the grip and it basically it's going over the curves. As soon as the car starts to go over the curves, the downforce gets disturbed. We're no longer planted to the floor. You need a little spinny. Flat? Oh, easy. Oh my god, that is ludicrous speed. That is removing head from shoulders speed. Oh my god. Shh, my ass. How the hell am I going to do this? How the hell am I going to do a lap of this and survive it? So the car was set up. Low fuel, soft tyres, and the setup that I felt was going to be quick around here. And our goal was easy. We have to be a 5 minutes 19.5. And I'm pretty confident this car can go under 5 minutes. So first of all, I know we can do this lap on about 20 litres of fuel. So we're taking the fuel out. That, that can f*** off. We're also going to go to the softer compounder tyre. Gearing seems fine. Suspension we're going to just have to live with. And to be honest with aero, aero, I want the grip. I don't mind being a tiny bit slower down the straight for maximum speed through the corners. So I think we're ready for an attempt. Let's see what we can do. 
It's either going to be an awesome lap or an awful lap. Hopefully, the former neat and tidy through there. This lap's going to be all about commitment, all about believing the car can do it. I don't think it's going to be the cleanest lap in the world, but I think you have to be superhuman to do that. And I am just a regular pleb. But through the first section, all right, nice. We're going to hit about 350 kilometers an hour. I have no idea how fast that is in mile per hour. Editor Chow Mill, though, he's good like that. Time for big brake. Machine gun down through the gears. Let the car hook up. And let it run away again back down the hill. How much speed can carry through here? I probably could have been flat through there, but I wanted the car to be settled to this section. The thing is, this car's really, really great until you get over a curb, and it's terrible. Sometimes it's worth just scrubbing off a tiny bit of speed. Oh, God. Oh, well, attempt one. Not so good. This is the one, though. I can feel it this time. In my bones. His bones are calling to me. Back for here, easy. Nibble the curb. Nom nom nom. Come on, B10. Give me some more. Give me that magic 360 kph. Ah, I think we're in the limiter. Oh, this is unreal speed so far. Struggling to keep up. Then, not on the grass this time. Well done, Jimmy. You didn't drive on the grass. You absolute legend. Oh god, it's so quick. Just like me and Brad. <laughs> oh shit, 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 shit. No, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. How? How am I still alive? Oh. F I quickly came to the conclusion that commentating this lap wasn't going to work. So I decided to do what people have been telling me to do for years on YouTube. Shut the f up. Let the engine do the talking. And try and focus on stringing together a lap and keeping it out of the barrier. <gasps> oh, okay. Breathe deep, Broadbent. Aaron, disease out. Easy. It's fun. Very good. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. That section sucks, don't worry about it. That'll do, that'll do, let's go. Roll the speed. We're gonna try the top. Definitely faster. It's trying to kill me. Remember to breathe, Jimmy. Remember to breathe. Important. Ooh. Okay, it's looking good, boys. It's looking good. Just you wait, sunshine. Just you wait. This is going to be well under five minutes. Okay, we can relax. A couple more corners to go. It's going to be under four and a half minutes. We've got 25 seconds to get to the line, and we are hurtling towards it. 355 k's. Come on. Holy sh! I should shut up more often. Four minutes and 34 seconds. That is 45 seconds, by my maths, quicker than the 919 EVO. Holy f... And that wasn't even 
the most impressive lap in the world. I think a sub 430 is possible. Man, this car is fun. I'm at full mast. <laughs> so I'll be honest and I'll say that I didn't expect this car to go quicker than the 919 Evo. But not that much quicker. 4 minutes 34 seconds. Nearly 45 seconds, I think it is 45 seconds, quicker than the fastest car ever to lap this circuit. It's an insane time. And I think one that actually probably wouldn't be possible in real life because of the squishy thing between the seat and the wheel. I think whatever human that could withstand this is infinitely more fit <laughs> and more able than me because driving it in sim, you make one tiny mistake, you get sent off to the f***ing shadow realm before you even know it's happened. It is an obscene car to drive around it. But I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. I hope you enjoyed watching me try and wrestle this thing around. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, do all that YouTube bullshit. And uh, I think I'll leave you the rest of the lap. The awesome noise of this V10 going down the dot on Johar. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. See you next time.